This is going to be an automotive review by Ahmed and Rumsey for CCT 110. The vehicles that will be reviewed are the Mercedes C230 and Honda Civic. We're reviewing today the Mercedes-Benz uh, 2010 C230 for Manic. As we know, the Germans are well known for their class and luxury. So now we're going to start talking about the exterior features. First of all, the lights integrated with high-intensity discharge bulb, which makes it project blue rather than the standard yellow. Then there's the fog light, however that is not blue as well, that is just standard yellow as you can see. The mirrors of the vehicle fold in towards the car to prevent it from scratches when parking in a parking lot. This vehicle has a built-in sunroof with a tilt feature as well as the standard opening all the way. The Mercedes C230 has the 17 inch wheels. You can get them in different sizes, however, on other trims of the C-Class. We're going to move on to, to the trunk here, and we can see it's really, it's really big, it's really huge. You can fit groceries, you can fit anything, anybody. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> and uh, for for every model in Mercedes Benz, it comes with the with the first kit eight. Now we're going to move on to the engine of the Mercedes. Uh, as we can see. As you can see, it's a V6 engine with 2.5 uh, liter. The dual exhaust really bring the sporty sound of this car. As uh, we can see here, the whole interior is covered with leather. All right, and we can see the cream leather here. But you can get uh, any any color you want to from the dealership. It comes in a black and beige and cream. Now we're going to move on to the center console and dashboard. The screen here shows the Bluetooth and the timing and displays also also the radio, disc, telephone and you can actually hang up and call from here and you can while you're driving hang up and call also and you can dial any number from this dashboard uh, from this uh, box. A key feature of the interior is the heated seat which comes in three different levels. You press it once, it automatically sets it on the highest level. You press it once, again, it puts it onto the middle level, and then last time on the lowest. And then if you press it again, it turns off. Now in the display, you can control the exact sounds of the vehicle. The balance, the bass, the trip. The Mercedes-Benz sound system is brought to you by Harman Kardon. Uh, These Mercedes are automatic, and you can change it from comfort to sport. Once you click this button, and it comes in manual too. And we can see here the cup holders, it's really well spaced. You can put any cup you want. To. And here we can, uh, plenty of room. Underneath the mirror, there is reading lights for the passenger and the driver, if necessary. And that's the conclusion for the review of the Mercedes-Benz 2010 for Manic. Hey guys, I hope you liked Ahmed's part of the video. Now it's my turn to do a review on 2013 Honda Civic Sedan. So we're going to start out by looking at the exterior features of this Honda Civic model. The headlights on the Honda Civic are the standard halogen lights, not the high intensity discharge. Also, this model of the Civic does not have the fog lights, however, you can integrate it on different trims. Also, one last thing. The indicator light is not built in onto the mirrors of the vehicle. The rim size on this trim of the Civic comes in 16 inch wheels. Also on the Civic you can get it in different sizes on different trims. 
This model of Honda Civic also has the sunroof that offers the tilt feature as well as opening all the way. So we're going to move on to the interior of the car. As you can see here, there's uh, it's, a, it's a very nice sleek design and it's pointed towards the driver which makes it safer for when you're driving. It's, a, it's, you can, it's, it's in your peripheral vision. And at the top here you have the radio and the CD control and then you can see this FM, AM, CD and auxiliary. And uh, you can even set up your phone with Bluetooth to the car. And then your normal setup settings for the audio and everything else. And then down here you have the AC control and then under that you have the heated uh, you have heated seats which is pretty amazing in a car like this just looking at the steering wheel you can see there's no shortage of buttons which is pretty cool for a car that's technologically advanced and on the right side you find there's a cruise control increase your speed decrease your speed and cancel and on the bottom left of the steering wheel kind of hidden right behind it is the bluetooth controls hang uh, pick up call hang up call and uh, uh, voice control and then over here is the audio features, which is uh, increase the volume, decrease the volume, left and right, and then uh, the source and menu and uh, information button. This takes me up to the little 4-inch screen right here, which is pretty cool. It's in the dashboard. This model includes a 4-inch display screen on the dashboard, which is pretty cool. And uh, it consists of four different pages that you can go through, uh, controlled by the button that I showed you previously on the steering wheel. For example, the first page of which is a wall, wallpaper that you can customize yourself, and which also shows the, the, the time and the temperature and how much you've driven in this car. The next of which is the uh, audio of what you're listening to right now. And then the next one is the fuel, fuel consumption. And as you can see, this car has pretty good fuel consumption. It's 9.8 liters per 100 kilometers. And then if you're driving and you don't want to see anything in front of you, you can just click uh, on the fourth page, which is just a blank screen with only the time and the uh, temperature. Honda has digitalized this whole overhead display. As you can see on the left here, there's uh, the fuel. And in the middle, there's a the speed. And on the right, there's a fuel consumption. And then you can see on the, on the left and right side of the speed, there's these uh, blue bars. These will turn green once the car is implemented into uh, econ mode. And down here in the RPM, you can see it's, uh, it shows you what gear you're in and how much RPM you're going into. And on the left, you can see that little green thing. That's uh, the Econ Mode button. The Econ button is clicked for fuel efficiency. As you can see in the dash display, when you click it on, the green light displays whether it's on or off. Also, the same thing occurs when you click it into the display, on and off. Now we're going to show you the eco mode while driving. When you're driving at low speeds, you are not wasting much fuel, so it does not kick in. When you pass roughly about 20 kilometers an hour while accelerating, it kicks in to save some fuel. As you can see, it turned green. And once you start accelerating again, it turns back to blue slowly meaning the eco mode is turning off. The eco mode kicks back in as soon as you let go of the throttle. As you come to a stop, eco mode is in all the way. Honda added two more speakers into the vehicle making it more of a crisp sound. One at the passenger side, one on the driver's side making it seven speakers in total. This model we are using is this five-speed automatic. It does come in manual depending on driver preference. Let's move on to the trunk of the car. As you can see, it's pretty big. And the inside, there's even a light integrated to the top of it so you can see uh, what's inside in the dark. And there's even these little uh, pulleys that you can pull out and then you can put down the seats so you have double trunk space. A lovely feature is the reverse camera, something very new onto the Civics. As you can see our friend over here. Hello. And that was a review of the 2013 Honda Civic Sedan. Oh, perfect timing. Here's that one. And now we're going to do the compare contest between the two cars. 
Hey guys, we now reached the end of our review and we're going to tell you what we like about each car and which car we're going to choose at the end of the day. Well, what I really liked about the Civic was how technologically advanced it is. All the digitalization of the speedometer, for example, it, it's, it's comforting to know exactly what speed you're going when you're driving. But on the other hand, the Mercedes-Benz did a really good job on keeping the car luxurious by providing the sound system and the specs in the car. What I like about the Honda is the sleek design. I also prefer the Eco button because it makes it a very fuel efficient car. However, at the end of the day, I was still driving Mercedes because it make, make a statement. I really like the Mercedes because it's luxurious and classy and a very smooth ride. But I still prefer the Civic because it's very fuel efficient and cost efficient. It's a cheap car, but it does not look like a cheap car. This concludes the review. This was done by Ahmed Mahmoud as himself and the director, Ramzi Abdul Wahab as himself as the editor, and Sultan Harb as the voiceover. We really hope you enjoy this as well as learned a few things. Thank you.